Hi, this is Cameron Simpson from CS Trades 101. Thank you for joining me here today. I'm just cruising around my house, just thinking about things. I had, had about a week off, um, was out camping, enjoying life, and uh, getting burnt, you know, all that fun stuff in life, and just thinking about things in general, about uh, how this, uh, this is not a normal stock trade, and uh, how this has affected all of us um, mentally, definitely psychologically um, it's not normal these guys have put us through hell um, and I know that uh, a lot of us are uh, questioning things like uh, is this gonna squeeze um, are you uh, are we gonna make money from this is this gonna be life-altering changes a lot of people are just scoping going through these YouTube channels trying to assure themselves Yes, this is going to happen. Um, have I made the right decision? Oh, man, I shouldn't have taken that loan out. Um, I'm paying interest on this stuff. I should have done what, this, what these other people told me not to do. There's a lot of contributing stuff that is playing into this that is not normal. Okay, guys? Um, I've been doing this for a while, these stock trades, and um, this is probably the worst that I've seen it um, with the psychological aspect um, that is involved. And I just wanted to tell you all, and sorry about the air conditioner in the background. Wow, we've been hit with this heat wave. It's just insane, insane. So, here and there, yeah, I just wanted to go through um, and just tell you that uh, no matter how this plays out, um, it is going to squeeze, okay? But I just wanted to tell you that uh, this is just me speaking, that I've made some good friends um, on my channel. And um, as you know, everybody else is welcome to join. And, uh, um, yeah, I've just made some good friends and um, had some good talks with people. And while I was out camping, uh, I talked to some uh, my newest subscribers um, that have joined the channel, um, some older people that I was talking around the campsite that didn't have any idea about uh, EMC and what we were going through. And uh, we had some dad out there, and I just... Uh, punched a couple of my videos out and put them on my screen in my RV outside and uh, they watched it and they're like, holy crow, man, this is crazy stuff. And I explained a couple drinks and that and explained that uh, what we were going through and they're like, wow, man, this is, uh, we when this old guy stock traded back in the day, right, when it was paper and stuff, he's like, yeah, man, I don't even understand what is happening uh, with all these trading platforms and stuff. And now that we've seen that, uh, Robin Hood is <laughs> there's a whole bunch of people getting uh, money put in their accounts and stuff now for um, actions that Robin Hood did they they broke the amendments there's there's laws right they they breached those laws um, they found guilty in court so um, things are starting to come out guys and I just want to tell you that um, you're doing an awesome awesome job and I highly respect you guys that uh, are holding this um, it's putting us through heck and hell okay including myself um, I own a substantial amount of shares myself um, I always get the pressures from the outside, um, including my wife. Sometimes she questions what I'm doing and that. And I, I just uh, I just reassure her that uh, in my heart, I believe that what I'm doing is for a good cause, um, that it's going to change our lives and my friends' lives. And uh, I just want you guys to know that time is getting near. Um, things are starting to pan out. The court, the court cases are flying. Um, if you watch Lou versus Wall Street, uh, if you haven't, you should sub to his channel on YouTube. Um, it uh, he 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 does say it from the heart. He's um, he's like me. He just tells it how it is. Um, he treats everybody like family. Um, that's how it should be treated. Um, none of these super chats where you're collecting money and all this stuff. Um, that's all going to play out in court. Like um, that's side types of coercion, hurting people into buying. That's the same thing super chatting and all this money for all this stuff that's not normal stuff that's all new okay um so yeah lawsuits are gonna be flying after this is all done um just so you know i've never asked for money okay i've never asked for any deposits or any education on any of it i've been very transparent i just want you to tell you tell you guys that and you already know that i don't need to tell you that stuff but i just had uh i just had a couple uh <clears throat> a couple comments that I left up on my comment board. Uh, I've been, I think they were uh, bots or something uh, trying to target me into uh, giving them information on puts and um, call options. Um, I left, I've left the stuff up, up on my comments just so people can see, um, asking me for advice and stuff, trying to bait me and trying to take me down. Okay, um, there's a lot of that happening. Um, it's not just uh, my my creator channel. A lot of creators out there on YouTube and uh, Twitter. 
that a lot of that's happening. Um, I'm not that big of a person. I only have a, like 800 subs, right? So, um, and saying that is that um, hopefully there's a couple of people out there that uh, what I uh, what I show you guys and uh, my teachings. Um, hopefully it helps a couple of people out, and I'm hoping it'll help a couple of the younger people getting out into the trading. That's the whole idea why I do this. I don't do it for money. I don't get paid anything to do this. Um, and my uh, veteran subscribers will know that. And I just wanted to tell you guys that uh, I haven't been around that much in the last week is because um, like I've been taking some time, okay? This does a lot of psychological damage to you, okay? These stocks, okay? We're not talking AMC. We're not talking GME. We're talking all of them, Citadel, okay? All of them workhorse they're they're all all of them are in the same type of bullshit okay and it's all gonna pan out all these things are just gonna skyrocket once they unlock all this shit okay it's all computerized uh software that is actually doing this stuff okay so it's it's too far gone it has to be slowly unraveled okay there's government looking into it as we all know there's sporadic information coming out and being released okay this stuff isn't going to happen overnight, but I, I'm pretty sure a couple of us are going to be getting, getting, getting subpoenaed to go to court on the behalf of the courts for the government to go after these guys, okay? And I'm willing to do my due DD. I have live ladder attacks that are, um, if you go into my podcast list, and I do have them backed up in case YouTube ever takes my channel down. So, um, um, yeah, these guys are going down, okay? I'm just telling you that right now, okay? So, um, I just wanted to say that. And, I, and you guys did this, okay? We've held this for a long time. This is not normal stuff, okay, guys? We only got a little bit longer. Um, things are changing as of Friday. There's some big actions going into play. Um, as you know, I don't like talking numbers and stuff, but I do want to talk one number, okay? Everybody, a lot of people are coming on these channels and saying, um, as you know, I will put numbers on things jokingly around and that, but I will not put things like these things are going to a million dollars, half a million dollars, um, it's not going to, okay? Um, there's no there's no way that they could pay that amount. There's insurance. This All this stuff is insured. I know people are going to say, oh, yeah, it has insurance on it and that. If you know what an insurance company, if you do an, uh, a claim on your car, they only give you a fraction of what it's worth, okay? So um, do I think it's going to go in the thousands? Yes, I do. Um, but I'm not going to put an exact number on that. Um, I have before. Um, I think it's going to go into multiple thousands, but no, it's not going to go into a half a million dollars a share. No, they're, they're, they'll get shut down before that. Okay, um, but I just don't want to squash your guys' things, your uh, beliefs and stuff. Um, it is going to make a lot of people rich, and including you, okay, including you guys, okay, and including me, and all my subs, okay. So this next couple of weeks, um, like I said before, things are going to get straightened out. I called it, right? Remember I called it last week before I went camping. I said that by by uh, Tuesday, Wednesday to Friday, some things are going to happen. Well, look, Robin Hood just got nailed in court. Okay, that's what I was talking about. I really didn't want to bring it out until it was on the news. Okay, I just was told by some people um, about it. And I was told not to say anything till it was out. Okay, it's out of the bag now. So you guys know, that's why you guys are coming on here and asking me, hey, should I move my shares from Robinhood to another platform? And I said, no, don't do that. That's why, okay? Just let it play out because if you would have moved those shares to another platform, you wouldn't have got your reimbursements and money back, okay? You would have shut your accounts down. That's all they would have needed. And you would have been raced off the platform, okay? So that's why I did told you guys not to shut your Robinhood platforms down. It's out of the bag now, okay? I'm sorry I couldn't tell you that ahead of time. I was told not to, so I, I just there's some legal things that you can't do, especially over a YouTube platform. My close friends that are actually members um, that I do talk to, um, close like um, I told you, you can talk to me in other ways uh, on Discord and uh, through through my uh, through my actual email, CS Trades 101. I will talk to you about stuff like that, right? It's just I will not discuss numbers and what to do. Okay, I will not tell somebody that. That's not fair to do this to a human. Okay, you cannot tell him something and get his hopes up and then it go the opposite way. Okay, so guys, I just wanted to shoot this quick podcast out there. I'm gonna be shooting a lot of podcasts walking around the neighborhood. I'm doing switching my channel up a bit here, guys. I'm gonna be pulling away from more of the stock market and just getting into life skills a little bit. We're gonna cover a little bit more things like that, things that you should know in life, go through. Um, 
things that will change your life. I'm going to be covering the stock market for sure. I'm going to be covering the squeeze, all that stuff. It's just you're going to see these sporadic ones come up with just off of a cell phone. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to be sharing um, just normal life stuff. I'm just a normal person, okay? And uh, I just don't like being in that stigma. Oh, he's the stock man and all that stuff. I'm not. I'm just a normal person and I just want to show you guys more of that, okay? Um, I'm, I'm in it for the same reasons you guys are, okay? I love you guys. Love you, Wolfpack. And you guys keep it real. And I'll be on here tomorrow morning. I'm going to be doing a live stock at uh, 625 um, Pacific Standard Time and Eastern Standard Ni Time, 925. And I will be on here um, as long as you guys want me to tomorrow, probably at least for a couple hours. Tomorrow's going to be a, I'm, I'm feeling it's going to be a pretty good day, okay? So, anyways, keep it real. Over and out.